Have you ever gone out to view a home and something was off-putting? Something just didn't quite feel right when you went out to view the home? It may not have been the home itself, but something just kind of turned you off immediately. There's a few key things that a seller can do when they're going to set their home up on the market for a buyer to come in and view their home. The primary thing that a lot of folks overlook oftentimes are the front yards having a proper landscape. A nice curb appeal always stands out to anybody that's looking for a home, of course. One of the other main things you can do is being able to have some sort of scent in the home, whether that's an air freshener, something that you plug in perhaps, things like that will really help out. Oftentimes, and I'm a pet owner myself, we get used to the smells in our home so that when someone else comes into the home, they may smell things right away that we do not because we live there. It's our home. That's what we're used to. But it really does make a big impact to a buyer. It helps them kind of fall in love with the home and makes it a little bit more of a calming effect when they walk into the home that they're not off of by animal smells or chemicals from cleaning or something like that that just may be a little bit more of a challenge. One of the other main things that you can do on the interior is just kind of organize things. Um, oftentimes we'll walk into a home, we'll see everything kind of disheveled, looks like someone just tried to run out of the home. Oftentimes the showings can be short notice, but if you really can just kind of organize those things on the way out, it really does make a bigger impact overall. It's something that is pretty significant to a buyer. And one of the last things that I recommend for showings is leave your home. Oftentimes when a seller is there, they want to be able to give a good impression of the home, point out different features, and give kind of a grand tour of a home. I can tell you nearly every time, buyers are always a little bit off it by this. They want to be able to walk in and view the home kind of at their own leisure, while not necessarily feeling like they're being covered upon. While as a seller, you may not be doing that at all, you're trying to point out the features and benefits of the home, it can have a little bit different perspective for the buyer not being able to kind of see different parts of the house that they may have a different vision for. So when you're looking at listing your home for sale, make sure that you have everything set up well for the showing, and it will definitely make once you are in escrow a little bit sooner, find a buyer a little bit easier.